Physical development happens as children learn to use and take care of their growing bodies. The physical development learning trajectory contains four subdomains. These include gross motor skills, which involve using the large muscles of the arms, legs and torso. It includes using muscles individually or in whole body movements. Fine motor skills use the small muscles that enable children to talk, draw, write and play. Sensory awareness enables children to perceive, process and react to sensory information. Physical health and self-care involves children gaining independence to meet basic physical needs, including rest, nutrition, safety and hygiene. Within each subdomain, there are strands and indicators. Strands describe the capabilities that change as children learn and develop, and indicators describe the progress you may observe. Educators and teachers can use the learning trajectories to inform their practice. Let's look at how the learning trajectory for physical development can be used alongside the Early Years Learning Framework Version 2 Planning Cycle. An educator or teacher observes an infant crawling and beginning to pull themselves up on furniture. The educator or teacher refers to the learning trajectories to assess the learning and to identify the indicator that best describes the child's skill. They recognise that these coordinated, whole body movements demonstrate the child's gross motor skills and that this is a subdomain of physical development. The educator or teacher sees an opportunity to build on these skills. They plan to adjust the furniture and resources in the learning environments. This enables the child to have more opportunities to practice pulling themselves up to stand. The educator or teacher then implements these changes to the learning environments to encourage opportunities for the child to practice their gross motor skills. The educator or teacher evaluates the implementation of their plan and considers learning possibilities to support the child's gross motor development. A child's development is influenced by their community, culture and everyday experiences. The learning trajectories are not designed to be used as a checklist, as each child's development is unique. Rather, they serve as a guide to identifying and extending on children's abilities, knowledge and understandings. Learn more about the early childhood learning trajectories and how you can use them to strengthen your practice with children and families. Visit the Australian Education Research Organisation's website at edresearch.edu.au.